What's up everyone, welcome to another video and today I'll be talking about how I landed my first big internship that is my internship at Facebook. In order to know that, we'll have to go back in time. But before we go back, I've noticed that a lot of you guys aren't subscribing to the channel. Please subscribe. So let's just go back to the fall of 2018 where I came as a freshman to the University of Rochester. I had overestimated myself a lot. I had done a bit of web development. I didn't really understand a lot of concepts, but I really thought that, hey, I have a lot of experience and that I'm much better off than all of the other students that are going to be at the university. So the thing was that in Pakistan, I had encountered a similar set of people. But when I came to the US, I met a variety of people, people who had done summer programs at Google, people who were good at competitive programming. And that really made me realize where I stood amongst the crowd. Emotional, damn it! What I had to do, it made me realize that I had a lot to work towards and that I had basically overestimated myself. And it gave me a goal and a kind of a motivation to go forward and learn new things. So my 2018 fall semester went like any other freshman's fall semester would go. I was too much dedicated on my GPA and I was too much focused on getting that 4.0. But I didn't really get it because I basically missed three 9 a.m. Arabic classes. Yep. You heard that correct. So here came the spring of 2019 and I had basically broken the 4.0 curse. So I wasn't that much worried about my GPA that much. And I wanted to ponder more into the industry, into the tech industry. And what happened was that one of the seniors at the university got into Amazon and they were a friend of mine. So that really motivated me to become Jeffrey Bezos himself. See just kidding. So that really motivated me to look more into big tech, to really land those fang jobs. It made me realize that landing these jobs are really possible because I saw my seniors do it and that motivated me a lot. And so I dived more into it and I started researching onto what the requirements were to really work into these companies, to intern at these companies. And I started messaging people to tell me about what to learn and what not to learn. And then I realized that I needed to just become better at web development. So someone basically suggested me full stack development and they argued that it had a huge job market. Now to get into full stack development, you basically need to learn both front end and back end. And I wanted to dive right into front end. But what my friends did was that they demotivated me by saying that front end is for girls. And I know that's hella sexist. Because apparently only women know how to center a diff. So to prove them wrong and to show the world that men could also send out divs, I basically brought a web development bootcamp by Angela on Udemy and that was basically the best decision that I made and that was 2019 summer and I wasn't doing any internship. I spent the whole summer doing that course, I completed that course and what that course really allowed me to do is that allowed me to get a good grasp on front-end development as well as back-end development but it also allowed me to make a lot of projects that allowed me to display something on my resume and they are the same projects that are still being displayed even on my 2022 resume. Yeah. So my sophomore year after doing that Udemy course, I decided that I won't overload courses. A lot of my friends were overloading courses, but what I did was instead of overloading courses, I took less courses and I did a Udemy course to make up for the lesser courses that I was taking. So in 2019 fall, I did a React course and in 2020 spring, I did a WebSockets course. And despite all of this awareness and all of this enthusiasm, I was a big noob back then. I didn't know that you had to apply for internships early and I should have started applying early in the summers for my sophomore year internship, but what I did was was that I started in January 2020 and it was pretty late but I was still able to land an internship at XLS BCBS as a software engineering intern. The interview was the easiest interview that I've ever given. They just asked me what an API was and it was just regular behavioral stuff. Just one round and they gave me the internship. But the sad thing was that they cancelled it due to COVID. But being the enthusiast that I was, I still managed to get an internship with the students that were working at my university at a startup called Bridge Burma. And I was able to use the skills that I had accumulated back then using React and WebSockets to create a fully fledged chatting application for their platform. And it really allowed me to use my skills as well as to work within a team and get some guidance from my seniors as well. So moving forward was junior year. And now that I had a good idea of when to apply, I started early in July. I started looking for those internships and for those referrals. And I also started started to do a bit of lead code questions as well. Now the main thing to note over here is that during the summer of 2020, when I was doing my work with Bridge Burma, I was actually in Pakistan and I was working remotely for Bridge Burma. And I also attended college remotely in 2020 fall as well. Now that actually had a negative impact on me because I was working from my home in Pakistan. It didn't really have a very academic environment. I wasn't really motivated for my lead code questions. You can imagine that from August to December, I only did 84 
more questions. But the thing was that I was actually applying for both STE roles as well as front end roles. And that was the main savior for me, I feel, because I wasn't really putting that much effort. And to put onto that, I also got into a new relationship at that time. Nice. I know that I'm creating the perfect environment to ace my interviews and yeah, <laughs> it is as funny as it is, but I was a bit lucky to, you know, get out of this whole situation as well. And so during the period from August to October, I got a lot of interviews in my hand because I was applying with referrals and that is really important. But the thing was that I didn't really do well on my interviews because this was my first time giving technical interviews. You can imagine that during my sophomore year, the only internship that I got was XLS BCBS and that was just one round asking me what an API is and now coding interviews hit very differently and I had to gain a bit of experience. I had to learn how to communicate. The interviews that I was giving at the company were basically mock interviews for me and so because they were mock interviews for me I was failing a lot of them and I wasn't getting called through to the next rounds. So my luck hit gold when in mid November I was called for an interview at a front-end engineering internship position at Facebook and now the jokes were on my friend who made all those sexist jokes. Told you I can center a diff. I was quite good at JavaScript back then. And the first round was basically mostly JavaScript and the second and third round were JavaScript, HTML and CSS combined. So I was able to pass them easily because of my intense research that I had done on Glassdoor. Just don't let them know that I had seen the questions before because I'm a master at JavaScript. And thus I was able to land my internship at Facebook. So I hope that you got to learn something from my journey or I hope that you enjoyed listening to this story. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.